In the aftermath of the devastating Maui wildfires, volunteers are rushing to get supplies to Lahaina. The outpouring of donations, it's like that tent is constantly sorting clothes and all kinds of necessities and it seems like we're, we're all sticking together as Maui Ohana. The death toll rose over the weekend with officials now confirming at least 80 people have died. They warn that number could still rise as search teams comb through the ruins. The fires are now the deadliest natural disaster in the state's history, surpassing that of a tsunami that killed 61 people on the Big Island of Hawaii in 1960. The fire torched hundreds of buildings and left scores homeless, likely requiring many years and billions of dollars to rebuild. It still remains unclear whether some residents had received any warning before the fire engulfed their homes. The island has emergency sirens intended for natural disasters, but they did not appear to have sounded during the fire. Officials haven't offered a detailed picture of precisely what notifications were sent out and whether they were done via text, email, or phone call. Hawaii's Governor Josh Green described multiple simultaneous challenges, with telecommunications down and firefighters concentrating on other major wildfires when the threat to Lahaina arose. Maui County Fire Chief Bradford Ventura said that the fire speed made it nearly impossible for frontline workers to communicate with the emergency management officials who would usually provide evacuation orders.